Hi, welcome to RG Lecture. So this channel is dedicated to the students of physics and this particular playlist of AC circuit contains all the videos which are a part of syllabus of graduation level physics. It can be BSc physics, physics honors, electronics, electrical engineering and many such courses. So consider sharing these playlists and videos into your college and class groups. Also join my telegram group link is given in the description. Hello, so in this video we are going to study the concept of RMS value. Now of course many students know the concept of RMS value. They know the formula of RMS value but they are not clear about the whole concept of RMS value. So in this video I will try to cover the RMS value in the mathematical approach as per the mathematical approach in the physics sense and where it is used in real life so i have named it as real physics so what is rms value let's start our with our content so rms value just means root mean square value it just means root mean square value so who has rms value first of all so as far as a mathematics is concerned if you study the mathematics in detail so there will be rms value of various things in the higher level mathematics okay but as far as our syllabus is concerned our subject is concerned so we will see the rms value of voltage or we will see the rms value of current so basically the substances which uh, which vary sinusoidally have rms value in short if i want to explain this now one thing is there certain you all must have seen this formula IRMS is equals to the I0 upon root 2 and ERMS or VRMS is equals to the E0 upon root 2. But what is the significance of the RMS value? Where does it used? Where do we use the RMS value? So let's start with that. So I will explain the mathematical part later on. Let us first consider the physics behind it. Okay, so what is the problem? First of all, What's the problem like? Why do we need RMS value? We already have equation I is I naught sine omega t where I0 is peak value. Okay. We have the equation E is equals to the E naught sine omega t where E is the value varying with time. E0 is my peak value. Why do we need RMS value? Now, the problem is whatever we have dealt with till now, whether it is a voltmeter, it is a m meter whatever measuring devices we have come across work only for dc okay even the in the ohm's law apparatus which we saw in the last video voltmeter was also dc voltmeter m meter was also dc m meter okay now suppose and the whatever electricity is coming to our house is ac <laughs> okay so whatever supply we are getting in our houses is the ac supply and whatever measuring instruments we have are of DC. So basically scientists were thoroughly searching, researching that some way there must be there that we establish a common point. Like if we have a common point then I can compare AC voltage with DC voltage, I can compare AC voltage with DC, uh, AC current with DC current and also I can measure them because at that common point that AC will become equal to DC. So that was the intention though. Okay, so that was the main intention. And the reason why the DC voltmeter and ammeter cannot measure the AC supplies, the first reason is the average value of AC is always zero. See, E is equal to the E0 sin, not sine omega T. So what is the average value over this cycle from zero to T? Suppose here it is plus one. So here it will be minus one. Right, so average value is zero. So the first reason the DC voltmeter or ammeter cannot show the value one or not cannot show the value is that average value is always zero. Now the second reason why they cannot show the value is AC current, AC voltage have a frequency. They have a frequency. In India, the frequency is 50 Hertz. In India, the frequency is 50 Hertz. That means one cycle consists of plus one minus one means two directions plus one minus one just was to give the feel in one second this cycle will repeat 50 times in one cycle 
direct in one cycle direction changes two times so in 50 cycles the direction will change 100 times okay now this is not the resolving power of dc voltmeter on dc ammeter for example if we see the light in our home the light continuously varies it continuously fluctuates but what we see is a constant source of light because our eyes cannot resolve that much so in the same way dc ammeter dc voltmeter cannot resolve this much of minute frequency okay so that is also the reason it doesn't shows any reading and the second reason what average is always equal to zero average of a cycle is equal to zero so scientists finally found a solution which was the rms value now at rms value ac becomes almost equal to dc though it is not technically correct to say this but let us see let's see through the example so here it is given that uh, rms stands for root mean square i told you in the first slide and is a way of expressing an ac quantity or voltage or current in terms of functionality equivalent to dc that's what i am saying from the last few slides we want a common point we just want a common point where ac becomes equal to dc in terms of functionality in terms of functionality so here what is example is i will let you explain this example suppose there is a bulb there is a resistor there is this dc circuit and here there is the same circuit with the same bulb connected with the same resistor but it's an ac circuit so if i pass the irms current through this circuit i consider a value i pass that irms current through this circuit suppose that irms current is say 10 volt and irms current is 10 ampere okay so let me consider the v first because i will go to uh, i will like to go through the example so let us say i have applied a vrms voltage of 10 volt and here i have applied the dc voltage of 10 volt okay so both will show the same result the heat produced in both of these circuit will be same okay so heat h1 is equivalent to heat h2 so what this says for example 10 volt ac rms is the amount of voltage that would produce the same amount of heat dissipation across a resistor of given value as a dc power supply will do so that is why rms value is also called as dc equivalent of either voltage or current okay so this was the thing now someone will say okay yeah, this was fine i have already read it in books but i cannot understand see what was the problem with ac the problem with ac was it was changing the direction continuously right so this was the scenario of the ac but suppose i take the square of it i take the square of it so in square it becomes unidirectional because square of negative quantity is always positive right so there are many certain aspects that it was the this is the reason for square we have made AC into unidirectional and furthermore there are more detailed reasons regarding why we consider the mean, why we consider the root and we finally get that common point here. So finally let us introduce something further, uh, a bit deeper definition. So if I consider my I, what is my I? I zero is equals to the I zero sine omega t and what is my RMS value? I RMS is equals to the I zero upon root 2 so if i apply my rms current now let us see in terms of current if i let my rms current pass through an circuit it will produce a heat h suppose irms were 10 ampere now if i pass same amount of current in dc circuit again it will produce the same heat h okay so this is the common point now let's go further now real physics where we use rms value now of course if we cannot measure anything it becomes useless right so whatever voltages which we are getting at our home in india we say the voltage is 220 volt now what is that 220 volt that is i v rms voltage that is not the peak voltage most of the people think that this is our peak voltage no that is not peak voltage that is rms voltage even in the question answers in the j double exam in the exams in which happen in india or all over most of the times if you have not if we have not been provided with the which value of voltage is this it is the rms voltage okay if suppose there is a numerical 
and if you are not provided with anything to consider debt value as rms value only in reality we always consider rms value we always prefer rms value and same same applies with the current also because both are identical okay and there are also many used in lab also like while performing some experiment if you will get a peak okay if you will get a peak so peak is most of the times unstable okay you can get any value for example you did it some time you get this value you do some other time you will get some random value it fluctuates but the 70th percentage of the peak is always considered as a constant the 70th percentage of the peak suppose this is the v graph of v so 70th percentage of v0 is always constant and that is what is rms value now what is irms irms not erms is equals to the e0 upon root 2 if you solve 1 upon root 2 you will get 0.70 times of e0 and if you convert it into percentage you will get 70.70th percentage of the peak value okay so this is also one of the application which we you we do in laboratory we always focus on the rms value and not on the peak value so i think it was sufficient now let's start with the mathematical approach now mathematical approach is simple you can consider any formula i is equals to the i0 sin omega t or e is e not sin omega t okay uh, because both are identical you will reach the same result which is irms is i not by root 2 erms is e not by root 2 that right? you will reach the same destination use any of them so let me start with the formula of e not so e is equals to the e not sin of omega t now i have to do rms value i have to find the rms value so s stands for squaring m stands for mean value and r stands for root so let me consider that so let me find the rms so e rms value is equals to suppose this is my e so first i will do the square i done square now i have to find mean so for mean i give this bracket which means mean and then i have to find the root okay so this will be the mathematical approach now squaring both the sides i will get e rms square is equals to the average value of e now if you want to find the average of any function which changes over time so if you want to find the average then this is the way okay you can find the average in this way this is the way of integration okay so i will do the same here okay note it down it will be used in complete bsc so if we want to find the average this is the same way i have to integrate this equation so let me integrate e rms square is the average of e from 0 to t and what is e e is e0 sin of omega t but i have to square it right e was equal to e0 sin omega t but if i square it to it becomes e0 square e not square sin square omega t and integration dt ranging from 0 to t if i solve the denominator i will get t here okay it's simple and finally again i will get t here so i will remove the t i will let it i will focus on the integral part this is a constant so it will come out of the integration and what i am left with is this term and a t in a denominator so let's focus on this integral first so sin square omega t now i know that 2 sin square of theta is equals to the 1 minus cos of 2 theta so basically i can write sin square theta is equal to 1 minus cos of 2 theta by 2 right so in integration i can write sin square theta dt is equals to the half 1 minus cos 2 omega t because theta is omega t here 2 from 0 to 2 dt integral of half will be t integral of minus cos Uh, of course t by 2 but let us keep the t common or i can remove the t and throw it outside the integral okay i can give the t here it will be more uh, easy integral of cos 2 omega t is sin 2 omega t okay now i have the limits from t to 0 so let us solve the limits now so firstly i will write sin 2 omega t and write it as 0 i will substituting the 0 okay here it will become plus because after minus the sign changes okay just i have put the limits here 
and uh, what is t let's see what is sign of 2 omega what is t t is equals to 3 2 pi by omega 0 is 0 sine of 0 is 0 omega omega cancel sine of 4 pi sine of 4 pi is 0 because sine starts from 0 and any value added to 2 pi again repeats the same again we reach at the same point so whatever terms were there gets cancelled so i am only left over with the t here and what i already had was this term so basically ERMS square is equivalent to e0 2t and again t t t gets cancelled so finally i have ERMS is equivalent to uh, here i had square e0 upon root and that is what we had to reach at this point and finally we can do the same for the current also so i hope you understood the mathematical part this was the result this was the mathematical approach and there was some real physics which was related to graphical natures okay as well as the voltage we get at our home as well as whatever we deal in the physics laboratory because whatever we cannot measure uh, doesn't have any significance though ac can be measured using hot wire ammeter but that is some different physics and this was the real physics behind the uh, rms value so i hope you understood the concept of the rms value in all the three aspects this is my channel for the students of higher level physics who want to learn higher level physics so please support me and share my channel in your classrooms in your class groups and uh, that's it